time has come, the walrus said. All right. Uh, with that, we've done a lot. Hold on, I want to go go to here on the phone real quick. Hello, this is Olyra speaking. Rock, it's time for you to face the egg on Mount Tam Tam Tamaranch. Be careful, Rock. Bye. Yeah. So, uh, how do we get to the egg again? This way leads back down like a ways, isn't it? Yeah. So from here, uh, pardon me, gentlemen. From here, we got the swamp, and I think on the other side of the swamp, we have an easy way out into the, the the windfish egg. Look at our inventory though, we've got everything. We got all the keys, all the instruments. We got, uh, you know, one out of four of the heart pieces. I didn't quite get them all, that's okay. And you know, missing just three. Not too bad, not too shabby if I do say so myself. And hey, here we have the giant Yoshi egg we've been waiting for. It's time to play the Ballad of the Windfish. And using all of the instruments we've obtained. Why am I reminded of Mother One? Anyway, using all the instruments we've obtained. Oh, we have a full, complete melody now. Oh, it's beautiful. Listen to all the instruments go. I don't know how they're being played. I guess they're magic instruments? Sure, we'll go with that. It's time for you to come on out, Windfish Egg. You've had enough time cooking in the egg. Oh, it's such a nice melody. I love Game Boy melodies like this, where they use all the instruments they have. Uh-oh. Oh god, we gotta go in there? The time has come! That's my intro. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg, hoot hoot. Oh, you're just gonna stay there, Kipura? Alright. I guess his, his final purpose has been fulfilled. Windfish's egg. Oh god. Uh. Oh. Okay, here we are. What is this? No, oh god, no. No! Oh, wait a minute, I forgot, because I haven't done this before, but I remember this from, like, the completionist thing. Oh no, I needed to look in the book to know where to go. How do I leave? Let me leave. Let me leave. Oh, okay, they let me leave. Oh, okay. We need to go back, back to the May Village and to the library to, to look in the book. One of the books, I don't remember which one. Just down here, move that out of the way. Go, go, Link, go. <laughs> we've, we've come so far and gone so hard. I mean, we've, we've, we've gotten, we've, we've come hard. Wait, no, we, all right, here we go. Library, it was one of these books. Atlas of Cahollan Island, no, no, that's not what we want. Uh, do you want to look at this map? No. Is it this one? Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Do you really want to read it? Yes! Round and round the passageways of the egg. Right, 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 right. Up, 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 up. Are you serious? That's the code? <laughs> okay. Also, was that the book at the beginning of the game that was like, the print's too small to read, so you can't make any use of this? And maybe we can only read it now because we got the magnifying glass? But that just kind of revealed stuff to us. I don't know. Maybe we could read it the whole time and I just forgot to. That's also a complete possibility. No matter the case, we know the way to go. Four rights and four ups and that's it, baby. That's interesting though, they bring a kind of Lost Woods uh, uh, maze mechanic into the final part of the game. All right, here we go. We drop down here, I guess. <laughs> and we go right. There we go. Uh... We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble! Uh, hi. Hi. It's the Dark Matter from Kirby. Um... Yeah! Time for the final boss. Does the magic rod not hurt this guy? It would seem it does not. It's it's quite possible it does not. Uh, yeah, let's try the sword, how about? <laughs> yeah! Oh, it, it shattered. Oh, there we go, yeah! Take that! 
Aha, you're just a blob coming at me. You gotta do more than that, dark matter wannabe. Come on now. Now we're getting him all right. At least I think we are. He's just kind of like dissipating and then teleporting away. I can't tell if we're actually making any progress in the fight. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Try the boomerang, maybe that'll help. No, boomerang is not effective. Just the sword, okay, I got it. I also have one of the secret potions we got in the last dungeon. I don't know why it was there, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Have we died? I don't think we've died actually in the playthrough. That means we're gonna get the best ending. Which is all cool with me. Part of me was like, eh, if I do die, then I'll just like pull it off of some YouTube video just so I can show you guys the best ending. Or maybe do it in an extra part or something like that. But I think we're gonna be solid. I think this is it. We're 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 getting the solid best ending. We're <laughs> are we doing anything in this fight? I can't tell. Uh what else would we use? Bombs? That didn't seem to do anything. Shoot it with the bow. No. How about magic powder? Is this... Is this a solution? Oh, there we go. That got him. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you now? Oh, you're Agadim. Hi. And you work just like Agadim, okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I mean, hey, I like the reference, but also Agadim in the last game was pretty easy, and, well, this is no different. There we go. <laughs> Are you gonna do any of Agadim's other attacks? Like, he had lightning and everything? Or are you just gonna do the orb? He's just... Oh, he did the other attack, okay. You know, I spoke too soon. There we go. Alright, is that the end of your Aghanim phase? Now what? Now you're... Oh, you're this boss. Alright. Ooh. Well, you can't knock us down into any hole, so it's not really that intimidating. I guess this is where they used all the Link to the Past assets they had from this game originally being a remake. And hey, yeah, there's Ganon. Ow. Watch out for all the bats. Ooh. He's gonna throw that. Ah! Man, these phases are quick! Is it because I have the level 2 sword? I mean, technically it could be even stronger than this if I had the, um... The, the red tunic as well. Oh, you're just following me like a little prick now, aren't you? Ah! Magic powder? Nope, not, that's not doing it. Uh... Shield. Ah! Help! Ah! Um... Hmm... Uh, rocks feather. What are you gonna do now, bitch? Okay, that didn't help. Um, hmm. He's just like, oh, okay. Were we just like running the clock? I don't know. Oh, he's not done. He's got this spiraling form. This looks like something out of Undertale. An eye. A weak spot. Uh, get the bow. Oh god, uh, you know I should have the rocks feather as well so I can jump over those arms. Ah, oh, I'm close to death. Ah, was I too late? Oh, I confused my buttons. Okay, yeah, this is confusing. Uh, there we go, change it up. Whew, ah! <laughs> Hey! Whew. Hey, you know what? It's like jumping a rope. <laughs> oh god! He's changing the speed up. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> hey, there we go. This island is going to disappear! Our world is going to disappear! Our world! Our world! You done? You had a lot of phases. Rock, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Who's speaking? I don't know, but sp stairs suddenly appeared. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, we're in magic world. Look at that Kirby-ass circles. I don't know why... Th <laughs> I don't know why the thing makes me think like Kirby... Or you know what it makes me think of? It makes me think of Sailor Moon. <laughs>
Hoot, young lad, I mean, Rock, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. Even though the Triforce had next to nothing to do with this game, as part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Rock, came to rescue this island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Rock. My work is done. The Windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot. Away goes the owl. Well, hello. It's the windfish, decorated as hell. It couldn't just be a regular whale, yeah? It'll be all covered in jewels and carpets and wings? I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Koholin will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Some day thou may recall this island. That memory must be the real dream world. What? Come, Rock, let us awaken together. All right. So were we in like a coma? Play the eight instruments. Play the Song of Awakening. Ah, yes. Oh, you're gonna make us watch everything as it disappears? That's kinda fucked up. The kids? We took all those photos. We, we met all those people and killed all those animals. I mean, killed all those monsters, what am I saying? What are you doing back in the forest? Oh, there he goes. Oh no, Marin! Oh, she's singing along to it as well. Uh, it's kind of sad. At the same time, they don't really do a lot to get you super attached to Koholint. I mean, it's a fairly quick game and... Well, it's not like there's a lot of characters you really care about except, I guess, Marin. But yeah, it, it... I can imagine if you're growing up with this game, playing it on the Game Boy, and each of your commutes to the bus, you go pretty attached to, to Koholint Island, you know? And of course I've known about this twist long since before I played this game. Most people who know this game do know this twist. But it still has some impact, you know? And I like seeing this cutscene here with Link in the in the credits. Link, wake up. Oh, there he is. And he looks to the skies. We're kinda shipwrecked though, I mean... Nothing's helping us now, like... Zelda, you out there somewhere? You can give us a hand? <laughs> But there goes the windfish sailing, flying over the sun. The majestic creature that it is. <laughs> Link looks so happy to see it. Look at that man! <laughs> you know, I have to say, it's probably the most detailed Link has ever appeared in a, in a Zelda game, just given the, 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 the nature of these cutscenes. Oh, and because we didn't die at any point throughout the game, we managed to get a special secret ending that only unlocks here. Oh, is it after the credits? It's after the credits, okay. I'll, I'll save my... I'll reserve my excitement. Also, these credits are super flickery. I have a feeling this won't be appearing on the video. That's a shame, but... Uh... <laughs> Eiji Noto is the programmer. Kiyoshi Koda is also a programmer, I guess. So is Sigihiro Kasamatsu. Character designer, Mikio Mishima. Anyway, I... Uh, yeah. That was Link's Awakening, my first time beating it. And I gotta say, I like this game a lot more playing it now than I had before, just because before I'd always had the issue with with the Game Boy controls and having to switch your items constantly, and I still think it is a bit of an issue, but you adjust. And by Turtle Rock, you're so used to it. I actually really enjoyed Turtle Rock, even though it took a long time and I was lost for a while, and there was that whole bomb in the wall situation. It was fun, you know, making use of all those items. Because this game, it, it is pure fun. I like the rocks, feathers, and item, it's a really neat concept. You know, this game uses a lot of its items well. Puzzles are fun, there's side-scrolling bits that are fun. There's a lot of things in this game that are fun. Do I like it more than Link to the Past? I don't know. I enjoyed that game a lot as well. It, both this game and the last game, Link to the Past, this has been my favorite experience of them, period. Playing them on the YouTube channel. It's my first time beating both of them. And I have found a new kind of appreciation for them. I still don't think they're my favorite Zelda games, period. Uh, my favorite Zelda game is actually my favorite game, period. 
but we'll get to that someday. But putting all that aside, I still have definitely had a lot of fun with this game. I would recommend you play it and, and make your own judgment call. Of course, if you're going to play the Game Boy original, play the DX version. It's just the same thing, but better. And if you're going to play any version, there's the Nintendo Switch remake, although that is a little more expensive at about $60, whereas this is like just getting a ROM online somewhere. You know, is what it is. In the end, there we are. Do we get the bonus scene? Give it to me. Come on now. Yeah, okay, so we see Marin's face in the clouds. Also a detailed look at Marin's character design. It's it's hinted at here that Marin becomes a seagull. Because she was talking about earlier in the game how she wanted to be a seagull and, and fly away to see other islands, like Moana style. The development team would like to thank you for playing. Hey, no problem, development team. Shout out to you. Is this the end? Is that the last screen? Alright, yeah. Well, anyway, the development team would like to make thank me for playing, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, carrying on, we've got some new series coming up and some more Mother 3. I hope you're looking forward to all that. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and have yourself a very, very good day. Bye now.